Hey guys, Sarah here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing my empties, all of the products that I have used up and if I like them or if I didn't. So if you're interested in that, keep watching. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe before you leave so you don't miss any of my future videos. All right, let's get into it. I think this might be my biggest box yet of empties. I have so many products. I think this is probably the longest I've gone in between empties videos. There's just a lot of products here and some were hits, some were misses. So let's just hop right in to all of the products. Per usual, I will link every single thing down below, including my jewelry, my shirt, everything that I mention will be down below in the bottom bar if you're looking for it. The Dermalogica Daily Microfoliant. This has been my exfoliator for years. I absolutely love it. I have one in my shower right now and I'm actually currently testing out the um, Origins uh, checks and balances exfoliator that they recently launched and I'm really enjoying that one too. So I've kind of been going back and forth. That one's a little bit more aggressive than this one is. This is great for just every day. Absolutely love this. So yes, every purchase I've had multiple of these. I think this might be like the third one that I've gone through and they last forever. The dry bar triple sack. I actually just mentioned this in my recent favorites video. Um, this is just amazing. I'm currently using another one. I've had this in my collection for years on and off and I've been on such a kick lately. So I went through this one, immediately bought another one and I've got a backup. So this one plus two more currently. This is a new to me product and actually a new brand to me. This is from Dr. Zenovia. It is the peptide and ceramide repairing moisturizer. And they've sent over quite a few products, but a lot of them had ingredients that I couldn't use while I was pregnant. So I haven't tested a ton of it out yet, but I really enjoyed this. It was a, it was like a pretty heavy cream. Let's see if I can get like a tiny bit out. Um, so I was just using this at night as my nighttime moisturizer. It was almost like a gel consistency, but it was still creamy and nice and not heavy, but like super moisturizing. So this was a really great night cream for me. Um, totally gone. Really enjoyed it. Um, I'm excited to try out other things from this brand because this was a new to me brand. I would definitely use this one again. I do have a few already in my collection that I need to use up. So I don't have another one of these currently, um, but it was really good. All right, my camera died. I am back. So the Elemis Pro Collagen Marine Cream, Cream, I've gone through so many of these. This is just an outstanding product. Um, can't say enough good things about it. It is a pretty heavy cream. So I don't wear this under makeup just because it kind of messes with my makeup unless I'm super dry. During my pregnancy, I was very, very dry and I could wear this under makeup and my skin would just soak it in that made no sense. You know what I mean? Um, but normally I would wear this at night as a night cream and you wake up and your skin feels nice and supple, but this has just been a go-to product for years and years. And I cannot imagine that stopping anytime soon. Also from Elemis, this is such a good eye cream. This is the Pro Collagen Eye Revive Mask. And it's like this cool yellow, you can't see it cause it's gone. I don't know why I'm even bothering opening these up, but it's like a jelly consistency. It's super thin, but it actually really does wonders for you. It feels nice and almost cooling. Um, and I just feel like my eyes feel revived, which it's in the name, so that makes sense. Uh, but yeah, definitely enjoyed this. This is, I think the second or third one of these that I've gone through would definitely use it again. I'm currently using a different eye cream, but yeah, I kind of toggle between those two currently. May as well talk about the eye cream that I'm currently using. This is the Origins Eye Doctor Moisture Care for skin around eyes. And this one I've used up, but I do have another one at my nightstand right now. And that's what I'm currently using. I love this so much. This one is a little bit thicker of like a cream consistency than the or or than the Elemis one. Um, but again, it just soaks in so nicely. And I feel like it's just giving my eyes a break, especially because I'm not getting a lot of sleep currently. So it's really nice to kind of just like refresh and give a little bit of a thicker cream than the gel currently. Got a couple of nail products. This is the OPI Drip Dry Drying Drops. And these are really good. You just paint your nails regularly and then you drop, drip, a drop or two on each nail and it kind of just sets your nails for you so you can go about your normal life and not have to worry about having your nails wet for forever while they dry. Uh, I just love this. I've had it for years. I'm currently testing out gel nails. I did on myself because I don't have a lot of time to paint my nails and I don't have time to wait for them to dry. If Theo starts crying, I've got to go and pick him up. And I just am trying to paint between like nap time or once he goes to bed at night. So 
I don't have a lot of time right now, so I was trying these out to see if I like them, see how long they actually last, and if this is a better solution for me than painting my nails all the time and just having them chip. My nails have been growing so quickly that I've noticed they start chipping because they're longer and they're just like getting in the way of everything. So, testing these out. I think I'm gonna do a video on DIY gel manicures, but doing regular nail polish, this is just a must have in my book. I have a couple of nail colors that I've gone through. I actually think I have one more in this box, but this one is in First Fitting and this is in Matter of Fiction. These are two of my absolute favorite colors ever. Uh, Matter of Fiction is what I wear on my wedding day. First Fitting is my favorite white color ever. I have white on my nails right now. This is the gel obviously, so it's not this color, but if you're looking for a good white polish that does not turn yellow, this is it. The Good Molecules Squalane Oil, I was using this under my makeup just a few drops and I was just patting it in under my moisturizer and then go along with my makeup and I really enjoyed this um, this was really good when I was pregnant because my skin was so dry that I almost had to use an oil under my moisturizer to just really make my skin look like normal skin again so I flew through this this is a favorite of mine it's the origins Nitamins. this is one of my favorite night creams ever it smells so so good i have used probably three tubs of this i will definitely buy it again it is just one of those tried and true favorites of mine and i always go back to it so yeah i will continue to purchase this because it's just incredible and this is one of those it's like a gel it's between a gel and a cream it's not a super heavy cream but it's definitely not a super lightweight product either i would not use this under my makeup with my normal skin. I probably would with really, really dry skin, but this is definitely a nighttime cream in my book. I think this is actually the first one of these that I've gone through. This is the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder for under eyes, and it's just, it comes in basically the same packaging. I actually also used up one of the translucent powders. So it comes in the same packaging with the sifter. This is in the shade translucent, um, and this is in the shade one. I don't know if there's multiple shades of this. Anyway, this is a powder that you just set your under eyes with, and it really brightens them up. I'm not sleeping a lot, so I need all of the help I can get in that department. So this is kind of my secret weapon currently, and I have another one right now that I'm using and I have another one of these that I'm using. These are two products that I absolutely love and I've gone through multiple of these and this is the first one that I've gone through of the powder but gosh, it's an eye cream or it's an eye powder so you don't use a lot of this. A little bit goes a long way. If you use too much you will have kind of like white under your eyes. You don't want that. You just want a little bit to set your um, concealer or whatever else you have under your eyes. Next is from Biro. This is the tomato serum. Biro is a luxury skincare brand and they have, all of their products have, um, they're like made out of food. Wow, that was really hard for me to get out. Anyway, I'm currently using a like tofu cream from them. It definitely feels luxurious, um, and I just really loved the product so far. So I think they only have about five products in their line, but everything that I've tried so far has been really good. This is the Laura Mercier Flawless Lumiere uh, Radiance Perfecting Foundation. I actually just mentioned this in my favorites as well. It's what I've been wearing basically every day. Um, and this is in the shade 2N1 Cashew. But yeah, I have been wearing this almost every single day, so it's no surprise that I ran out of it. I have it in a couple of shades, and I am already using another one, so I would definitely repurchase and would definitely recommend this. This is a medium buildable coverage foundation with a very natural finish. The Dry Bar Detox Shampoo. This is one of those like double-sized ones. I think I got it maybe during the holidays. I don't think it could have been that long ago, but maybe it was, I don't know. But they offer these once in a while and I always try and pick one up when they have it. This is just such a good dry shampoo. It really soaks up all of the oil. If you use too much, you will get a white cast, but I just, I love it. I don't use it all the time because it is pricey. So I generally use it like when my hair is very, very oily and then I try to use something else in between, um, but yeah absolutely love this. Okay, this was a total dud for me. This is the Murad Invisiscar Resurfacing Treatment, and I was trying to use it to get rid of a couple of my acne scars. No, it did not work at all. I actually also tried to use it for a little spot I have up here. I had something removed, and I had a scar there. No. So this, I don't know. It might be working for somebody else, 
it just didn't personally work for me so I did not finish this. I've gone through a lot of creams I'm noticing. That is like the skincare product that I've gone through the most of and I actually have a couple more. This is the Laneige Radiance C Cream. Brightens, even skin tones, and moisturizes. This was another one that I just really loved. I flew through this. I was using so much of it when I was pregnant. I really like the way that it smells, but I also really just loved the way that it felt on my skin. I feel like it glided on and then just soaked in so nicely. It was a perfect nighttime cream, and I I feel like this was small. Yeah, this is only one ounce compared to like the Nitamins is 1.7 ounces. So I definitely feel like I went through this quicker, and that's why. But yeah, I really I loved this. I love the packaging. I think it's so pretty, but if you see it in person you can tell how much of the glass is just plain glass like the product actually starts up here it's only like in this area so it's definitely a small amount of product but it was really good and I would definitely buy this again okay I guess I have a couple of mirrorhead duds uh, this is the essential C eye cream with um, SPF 15. I did not use all of this. This actually gave me a bunch of red dots around my eyes. It irritated my skin, so I could not continue using it. Um, these are, there's so many products out there that really irritate me, but wouldn't irritate anyone else, or that do irritate other people, but don't irritate me. It's all about what ingredients interact well with your skin. So this just didn't work out for me personally, but it is what it is. I kind of wish that it did. I was hoping the, to be able to use a vitamin C eye cream, but yeah. The Origins Ginseng Gel Moisturizer. Love this. I'm using another one. I bought the large tub that they had on the Direct Origins website. I bought that when it was on sale, and then I actually have been using this one, which is the Ginseng Glow Boosting Gel Moisturizer. It's the same one, but it's a gel uh, finish, which I really like that one too. So love this line will forever repurchase this product. From Billy, I have the Sudsy Body Wash. I really love this. It smells so, so good. I'm currently just using a, I think it's from Dove from the grocery store, but I would definitely repurchase this. I always forget to add things to my subscription on Billy because I have the razors that come every, however often they show up at my house, um, but I never remember to add anything else on, so I think I need to go onto my account and add this on for next time because I really, really enjoyed this. Another Origins product, you guys already know I love Origins. This is the Plant Scription Anti-Aging Power Serum. I really liked this. I've got to say though, out of all of, one out of all of the Origins products and two out of all of the serums I liked, this one does not rank high enough for me to just go out and repurchase. I liked it, but it wasn't one of their like home runs for me. This is the second tube of the Summer Fridays Baby Moon Belly Balm, I think it's called. Yeah, that I went through. I was using this a ton for my stretch marks um, and I think I still have some of my third tube left. I just haven't used it. Um, now that I'm not pregnant, I should because I have stretch marks, so it would be nice to try and get rid of them. I don't know if this would even help at that point, but I did really enjoy this. It is a gel consistency, like jelly, almost feels like Vaseline. Um, I know that that would probably gross some people out. Some people wouldn't mind it. I didn't mind it. It does dry pretty quickly. And I just felt like it felt really good on my stomach. It was one of the only things that helped my belly not itch while I was really getting bigger. So I appreciated that. I've gone through so many of these Milani Make It Last setting sprays. It's not even funny. But I actually haven't been using it for a while because I've been going through the Urban Decay um, the all nighter setting spray. I've just been using that recently, but this I really love. I will continue to use it. I just have something else that I'm currently using. Okay. This seems outrageous, but I have four of the L'Oreal Lash Paradises. These do dry up quickly, but it is a drugstore mascara, so I don't mind just going ahead and repurchasing them. But I use this as my first coat, and then I use the Hourglass Caution Extreme Lash Mascara as my second coat, and I have two of those that are empty. <laughs> so, um, yeah. This is my mascara holy grail combination. I always use this. I always do the Lash Paradise first and the Hourglass Caution Extreme second. Um, it's a combination that's worked for me for well over a year, probably like more than two years at this point. So yeah, I will continue to repurchase these. I have both of them in my collection right now and I just have nothing but good things to say about both of them. I've got a couple more nail products. This is another nail color in the shade Stitch by Stitch. I love this color. This is one of those colors you can wear year round. It's just the perfect pink color. It works for fall, it works for summer, works for winter. Like it is just so good all the time. If you need just any color, you don't want something neutral, you just want a color, 
this is such a go-to. So I have already repurchased this, it's in my collection. This is a total flop for me, it's the Lash Paradise Eyeliner. What I don't like about this is that it is shiny. I like a matte eyeliner and this is shiny and I can't stand it. So I actually didn't finish using this. I started using it, I like the way it applies. The brush is really nice. It's just a felt tip liner, which I really like that. So I had really high hopes for this, but I just, I can't handle the shiny finish. Another product I've gone through a million of, this is the Fresh Sugar Lip Treatment in the shade Rosé. It's what I have on my lips right now. I have one sitting behind me that I've been using. I think I have like four backups. This was on sale at Sephora. I wonder if it still is. I haven't checked recently, but I did stock up and yeah. I've been using it for years. I will continue to use it for years. It's just so good. It has SPF 15, so it does protect your skin or your lips rather in the summertime if you're out in the sun. It's just amazing. It also does come in a ton of different shades if that shade isn't your jam and it is not fully opaque. It's just a nice sheer wash of color so you can go out and feel a little bit more put together without full-on lipstick. This is the LA Girl Calcium Builder. This is my favorite base coat for my nails. Obviously, it's in a nail polish bottle. Uh, but yeah, I've been using this again for years. It really has helped my nails stay really strong, which I appreciate. It dries really quickly, so you can throw it on and almost immediately put your nail polish on. I don't like to wait around forever for every every coat to dry. And this, you just do a really thin layer. It's super easy and I feel like it makes a big difference in your manicure. This is from Dermalogica. I love Dermalogica, but this was a, it was a dud for me, but for a reason other than how it works. So it's the Retinol Clearing Oil. I was so excited to try this out. I really love the packaging of it because it has the dropper, but it has the button on the top. I cannot stand the way that this smells like to the point that I cannot use it so I didn't even get to really see if it worked it smells just like chemicals yeah oh my god it is so bad I almost feel like I got a bad batch or something like I can't imagine a product that smells this bad being on the market and people loving it and putting it on their face next to their nose but I did not like it so I could not use it I wish I could but it was a pass. I guess I finished out every single step of my manicure routine in my empties recently because this is the out the door top coat, my favorite top coat. I actually got the big bottle of it this time. I've gone through a million bottles of this over the past like five, six, seven years. It is so good. It is my favorite top coat. It dries quickly. It stays really shiny and just really seals your nails. This is the Dermalogica Nightly Lip Treatment. You just push the button and some product comes out and since it is a metal top, you put it on your lips and you kind of do it around your lips too and it's nice and cooling and it's supposed to really help with fine lines and aging in your lips but also just treat your lips it is incredible i feel like i love the way that it feels with the cooling but then i also love that my lips feel so healthy when i wake up so definitely a really good product it's so funny anytime i use this adam does not want to kiss me after i put it on because it is like pretty thick on your lips and it grosses him out but I love the way that it feels when it's on me. I don't know if it was on him if I would like it as much, but it is just so good. I've gone through two of these, I believe, and I have one in my nightstand right now. I use it probably like once a week. I've been using this Laneige lip mask that I'm obsessed with, and so I kind of put this one on the back burner. And then lastly is this from Dermalogica. It is the Phyto Nature Firming Serum, and this comes in... <sighs> What is that toothpaste from when I was a kid? I think it's called Mentadent or something. And it had two sides. It came in this stand with a white pump and you pump it and two sides of toothpaste come out. That's what this always reminds me of because it has like two tubes inside of here. You probably can't see it, but then it has two holes in the pump and two different products come out. Anyway, I really enjoyed this. Um, I don't know that it actually was firming, but I feel like my skin felt really good when I woke up. Again, I would use this at night and then I would put my cream on top of it and I really enjoyed it. It's really hard to tell if a skincare product is actually doing like crazy good things to your skin. I just feel like there's only so much that skincare can do. It's not going to rewind time. It's not gonna make my skin magically firmer tomorrow or take away any wrinkles that I have. I feel like it's one of those things that is just going to maintain your skin, which is totally fine with me. Um, and I think that this did that, but I don't know that it like improved anything, if that makes sense. Alrighty guys, those are all of my current empties. 
There's so many. I now need to go to the recycling bin. Uh, I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that it was helpful for you to hear just like quick thoughts on products that I've used up because I obviously have an opinion if I've used that much of it up. Um, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe before you leave so you don't miss any of my future videos. Thanks so much for watching. Bye guys. Thank you.